Oxford and Cambridge are regarded as the two top universities in the United Kingdom. After studying at Cambridge for three years, I realised that I'd barely seen the other place. I've always thought of Cambridge to be the prettiest university town in England. However, today I'll be checking out Oxford to see which one of these two uni towns is the more photogenic one. If you haven't seen my previous photography video that I shot in Cambridge, feel free to check that out and compare the shots I got in Cambridge with the shots I'm going to get today and let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Just bought an SD card from this phone shop with Nick and we are in Oxford today. Let's get some shots. And welcome back to another POV. Today I am in Oxford and it is a very, very sunny day. So I'm just outside the Radcam building, I think, of Oxford University. And I've got with me my two sort of favorite travel slash architecture lenses. The two lenses that I take with me when I'm in a place that I'm not super familiar with, uh, like Oxford, for example, is the Samyang 12 millimeters for like sort of wide angle, wide angle architecture shots and my trusted Tamron 1770, just so I can zoom in and out as I need to. So I'm just gonna start strolling around and see what kind of shots I can get. Okay, there's a bit of sun glare. I don't have my lens hood with me. It's a bit annoying. Uh, maybe I can do this with my hands. Oh, that's actually really, really annoying. How do I solve this? There we go. I'm using my fingers as a bit of a lens hood and then I'm just gonna have to crop in. Mate, it's so bright today. Got to go shutter speed, one over 1,600. Let's get a quick warm-up shot here. I love this court, mate. So, this is so fit. I'm not sure how I should frame this. Maybe I'll place that corner in the middle. Just a very basic one. What's this building called again? The Radcap. Radcap. Yeah, okay, yeah. Radcap. Uh, I'm going to use the tree to frame it a bit just to give it, oh mate, this is sick. Love this. I was thinking earlier, because I didn't want to take the very standard shot of yeah. Radcam, but now because I'm here, stood in the Fellows Garden at Exeter, I can do that. Yeah, it's such a nice frame that with the uh, leaves coming down. And the colorful flowers, oh mate, sick. Yeah, this is like the reason I applied here. I came here on an open day, like walked up onto this one, and I was like, this is where I want to be. That is, yeah, so, fair play. Like a shot with like the flowers in front. Oh, you can see a little person up there as well. Oh yeah, yeah, you can go up there as well. Same oh. views, right? It's quite dark, so I have to lower my shutter speed. Aperture maybe f two point five, ISO two thousand. Nick is off to the lab now because uh, he's a fourth year engineering student and his exams are coming up. So I'm going to be on my ones for a bit and snap some photos. Unfortunately, I will not be able to give as much detail on the background and history of these buildings because I didn't go here. <laughs> so I don't really know um, what these buildings are. I think this is a library, but again, could be a college. Just love the architecture around sort of Cambridge and Oxford. The buildings are just so amazing. The attention to detail is great. Maybe a straight on shot? Let's see. I'm gonna go maybe like this, low down. And then I'm just gonna wait for her to move out the frame. <coughs> I need to put my shutter speed up quite high at one over 1,600 just because the sunshine is so, so bright. Okay, and shot. Snap a quick pic of that statue with the clouds in the background, kind of like that. And pose it, maybe. Yeah, just put the statue right in the middle. Just thinking of making, twisting, rotating my camera a bit. What's through here? Because I'm not a student here, I can't, I don't really know where I can go in and where I can't. This bit seems quite touristy, so I think I'm okay. Oh, this is cool. 
This looks a bit like Downing College, actually, with the pillars. Okay, I've got my 12 mil on. Yeah, the wide lens is really good for like any type of architecture shots because it really, it almost distorts the building in a way that makes it look even more massive than it is. Try this one. Boom, sick. So I came here, I came to Oxford yesterday because I had a photography gig in the Oxford Town Hall. So I'll put some clips of that and some shots on the screen. After that, I hung out with my mate Nick, who's an engineering student here at the moment. He's in his final year and he uh, showed me around his college Exeter. And uh, we ended up having brunch in a place that basically looks like Hogwarts. I love the look of this alleyway, just the way the buildings kind of curve around and you've got the harsh shadows from the sunshine from the side. It makes this look quite interesting. And one thing I like at the moment is we've actually got some clouds in the sky. So quite often when it's a really sunny day, there's just a completely blue sky. And the one thing I don't love is when the sky just has one color. Because sometimes it's all clouds, sometimes there's no clouds. I like when there's just a bit of everything. Um, it just adds a bit of texture to your photo. I think I can just walk into this college. Hello. Are you open to visitors? Can I just yep. go in? Oh, amazing. Thank you very much. A lot of colleges sometimes tend to be a bit, not rude, but I mean, I can, I can understand that. You don't want your place. Well, this is basically where people live, right? You don't want heaps of tourists to come in every single day, like snap pictures of you when you're hung over on the way to the toilet. But Seems like All Souls College is quite accommodating. So apparently this college is like quite a unique one in the sense that there's only 12 students. And I say students like this because the people that end up in this college are like 50 years old. They have like fucking eight degrees or something. And apparently to get in, it's like the hardest exam in the world. So it's only for like really, really senior academic people. Uh, One of one of the eighty. Get this. <clears throat> For those, I have to crank up my shutter speed quite a bit because obviously the sun the sun is shining through, so it's like super bright. Yeah, I'm using this big like arch as a bit of a natural frame for the main building of the college. And snap. It almost doesn't look real on the picture. Like the clouds are green and perfectly cut, the grasses. This does not look like a real place to be honest. It's ridiculous. Ooh, I like this. Let me get really close to the ground and then just take a normal shot this building. Oh, I'm so I'm so lucky that the that there's a lovely sky today. I feel like the clouds really make this image. Okay, next stop is going to be the university church, I think. If only you can pay a fiver and just go up and you get a pretty sweet view there. So we're gonna do that. Alright, made it. Okay, I'll let you go ahead. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, I'm proud for that. Okay. And now I can take a cool photo of the Radcliffe from all the way up here. Maybe like that. Almost looks like a drone shot because I'm so high up.
Thank you. Oops, sorry. Ah. Let's get one of the tower in the distance. Oh, I wish I had my telephoto for this. That's all right. Mike Chudley took a photo once. I think it was in Brighton. I can't remember the city, but it was a really cool picture of a really unique hat. And I just spotted the exact same hat and I'm going to try and recreate the picture. Happy Mother's Day! Oh my god! Have you seen my home? Yeah, yeah, I'm a massive fan. Like, um, oh, it's the infirmary. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sorry, Potter Hospital, that's crazy. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I'll take a quick picture. Yeah, oh, that's stunning. That's so cool. If you're a Harry Potter fan, definitely come to Oxford. Look at this roof, that's crazy. Oh no! Oh, no. Two. Okay, nothing's happened. I'm okay. <laughs> Cheers. We are now in Christchurch College. Uh, which was probably one of the most hard ones to get into, but Will is a superstar and he let me in. <laughs> Drop him a follow on Insta. And um, yeah, so my GoPro just filled up, <laughs> which means I'm going to film the remainder of this POV with my phone, which is going to be a bit tricky, but we move. Okay, we'll take a picture here of the, of the statue. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go behind it because this way looks a bit better. So, we are at possibly one of the most famous staircases in the UK and this is the staircase going into the dining hall of Christchurch. It's famous because they filmed Harry Potter here. So I'm going to take a wide angle shot just like this. I'm going to stand here, take a wide angle shot like this. Oh, the window is really bright. I hope I can bring the highlights back down. And then one like this. Oh, oh, I really look forward to editing these. So apparently, that guy over there, that's Henry VIII. And um, it's like the original painting, like the one that you see in the history textbooks and stuff. And that's just over there, which is quite ridiculous. Um, maybe a straight on shot here. Lower my shutter speed a bit to the one over 100 just to get all the paintings in, just like this. Okay, just gonna take a quick shot here using the fence as kind of like framing. We go down a little bit more, oh, boom. Quite picturesque little scene. Very oh, picturesque looking. Ooh, there's a guy with a blue t-shirt. So uh, I like that. So we are now in Magdalen College and I'm going to use this window as a bit of a frame to get the wisteria flowers and that statue in. And maybe some of the blue sky, we'll see. Maybe something like this. And now I'm going to turn the video off and take the proper shot because I didn't actually look at my camera then. So. We're actually just walking past the deer park that is part of Magdalen College. And I thought I'd show off the video capabilities on my phone. I'm currently zoomed in at 10 times, which is way more than what my like APS-C Sony camera can do. And just look at the detail. Like, also, well, just look at this. Like, this is pretty mental. It's actually so good. How crisp it is. This is a um, Samsung Galaxy S21. This is three times. And this is how far we actually are. Like, there's a whole river between us and the deer and I can go all the way in and I can see their faces. I really like this little frame with the black gate in the background. I'm gonna take one like this. Boom. 
Maybe I'll darken the outside bits just a bit more to create even more contrast. But I really like that. Also, I'm loving the angelic singing in the background. It's so good. We serenaded everywhere we go. Yeah. I told them all you're coming. <laughs> okay. So this is the this is the what building? This is the exam school. Exam school. So this yeah. is where you take exams. Exactly. Yeah. How is such a beautiful building being used for such a peak purpose? <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, so this is Queen's College and Will pitched it to me as one of the most symmetrical colleges, <laughs> which is why we are currently here. It's gonna go have a quick shot. Got like a lovely leading line of this path leading up towards that building at the end, which is quite cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I preferred Oxford. Fun fact, I was originally actually planning to apply to Oxford. However, back in school, we had an open day for Oxford and we had an open day for Cambridge University. I stupidly signed the wrong sheet of paper, so I ended up reluctantly going to the Cambridge Open Day, quite like in the university, and ended up applying, which is why I ended up going there. But the original plan, but the original plan was going to Oxford. I definitely got very lucky with the weather. It was a super sunny day in Oxford. There was an amazing amount of sunshine and just the right amount of clouds. I really like the shots I got in Oxford, and I would definitely recommend anyone, photographer or not, to go check the town out for themselves. It's just a one hour train away from London and an amazing location for like a day trip for anyone who wants to see some beautiful parts of the UK that are not in London. I hope you enjoyed the video as always. If you did, leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. We are very close to our first 1,000 subscribers, which I'm very, very excited about. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.